Interior, classroom, afternoon. Miss Cruel, pronounced Cruel, 70, is holding a flyer <laughs> and speaking to her students. Mimi, 11, kind of a cuckoo, is sitting at her desk. Tomorrow we're gonna be having a competition <clears throat> to see who can be the most creative while making a drawing. Oh, that's easy. I'm gonna win. Totally gonna I'm gonna win. win. Easy. I'm gonna win. The catch. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you have to use crayons. Crayons. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Cut to flashback. Interior bedroom morning. Young Mimi, five. Her tiny hand is reaching into the crayon box. be a rainbow once I feed you these crayons. Young Mimi shaves the crayon with a pair of scissors and mixes it with her hamster, Mr. Fluffy's treats. <laughs> Young Mimi puts the treat in a tiny bowl and places it in, inside his cage. Honey, time for school. Coming. Bye, Mr. Fluffy. Young Mimi leaves her room. Her mom enters and cleans Mr. Fluffy's cage. She sees Mr. Fluffy on his back with his hands up motionless. His <gasps> eyes quickly twitches, and suddenly he's frozen. Mimi's mom picks up the hamster by the foot. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck happened to you? What did Mimi do this time? Time to get the shovels. <laughs> <laughs> Exterior, front door of Mimi's house, around 3 p.m. Young Mimi knocks on the door. <coughs> I'm home! Young Mimi's mom opens the door. I need to go look for fossils! <laughs> <laughs> sure thing, honey. Exterior, backyard, around 3 p.m. Young Mimi is digging holes with a little spoon. <laughs> she hits something in the dirt with her spoon. Young Mimi grabs the object in the dirt. Oh, I think it's a rainbow one. Young Mimi clears away the dirt from the object and finds little ears on the object. She realizes it's her hamster. Oh, you did turn into a rainbow. <laughs> Wait a minute. How did you get into the ground? Are you alive? <laughs> Mimi starts observing it and to see any signs of life. It doesn't move. <gasps> no! <coughs> Two hours later. A flashback. Interior, classroom, afternoon. Mimi is breathing heavily. Her face turns a little red. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Mimi! <laughs> Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. Interior, okay. interior, school store, late afternoon. Mimi is picking out a crayon box. Mimi holds a napkin, and using the napkin, she picks up the crayon box from the shelf and shivers in disgust. <laughs> Interior, school, store, checkout, late afternoon. Mimi is buying the crayon box. She's speaking to the clerk. Can you, can you double bag it? Actually, can you triple bag it? <laughs> Interior, Mimi's bedroom, evening. Mimi begins to open the crayon box. She's wearing her mom's sunglasses to block out the evilness of the crayon. I vowed I would never do this, but there comes a time that I figured I might have to. Mimi's hands are trembling as she takes out one of the crayons from the box. Mimi shrieks and throws the crayon out her window, at the window. <laughs> I can't do this! Alex, I need you! What? 
Get your butt over here! Alex, 11, Mimi's twin brother, enters. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with those crayons? It's a long story, but I need you to help me use the crayons. Interior, Mimi's bedroom. A few minutes later, Alex is holding a crayon and drawing on a piece of paper as Mimi is commanding him where to move the crayon. Left. Alex moves his crayon to the left. No, 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 wait. You're, you're not your left, the other left. Alex moves the crayon to his other left. <laughs> <laughs> it's a masterpiece. I can't wait for you to come with me to the competition. Uh, 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 wait a minute. I th thought this was an at-home project. <laughs> what day is the competition? Tomorrow. Uh, I can't go tomorrow. I have a big hockey game tomorrow. But I need you! Uh, and the team needs me, too. If we don't win, we won't make it to the quarterfinals. Uh. Mimi gets an idea. <gasps> <laughs> Do you have any extra gear? Yeah. Why? Interior, Mimi's bedroom, a few minutes later. Mimi is wearing her brother's hockey gear, hoping that it will repel the evil in the crayons. Mimi starts drawing with the crayons, but she struggles to draw with all the gear on. <laughs> Interior, Mimi's bedroom, half an hour later. Mimi finishes her drawing. It didn't turn out well. <laughs> <laughs> eh, could have done better, but better than nothing. Interior, school auditorium, 9 a.m. All of the students are sitting behind their canvas, getting ready for the art competition. Mimi enters with a paper bag and wearing all of her brother's hockey gear. She's breathing into the bag nervously. All of the students stare at her. <laughs> Miss Cruel enters. Ooh. Ten more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, uh, 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 six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, kids. Miss Cruel looks around and examines everyone's drawing. She makes notes to herself. She approaches Mimi's drawing and nods to herself approvingly, but doesn't show too much emotion. Miss Cruel gets up on the stage. Attention, kids! I have picked our uh, 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 um, winner. <laughs> the winner is. Oh! Miss Cruel screams and points to a crayon in one of the students' canvases. The crayon king stands up on its own and looks at Miss Cruel in the eye. Rise! My soldiers! <laughs> All of the crayons stand up and sprout legs and arms and little mouths and eyes. The crayons start to attack the students. One crayon hangs onto a girl's hair. She screams. A pink crayon crawls up Mimi's nose and looks at her in the eye. <laughs> You were right all along. <laughs> we are evil.